Hey guys, welcome back. Hi guys, I'm Shamia. Hello from Canada, Toronto. And this is my husband Harsh. Hello, my name is Prajit. My name is Poorna. I have asked my friends who are in lockdown as well around the world and asked them for uh, their uh, tips to my viewers and also what they are doing for self-care and also to stay sane during this uh, long lockdown. So for the next eight or nine minutes, you will get to hear from my friends about their stories and how they are staying active during this lockdown. Where the situation that we are facing at the moment has been impacting people for the past eight or nine months in so many different ways. Our community has been uh, severely impacted. We all know that the death toll is in tens of thousands around the world. Uh, people have lost their jobs due to COVID. People have to shut down their businesses, which means that their main source of income is gone. And no one knows when things will get back to normal. It could be six months or it could be 12 months. No one knows at the moment. Perhaps our only hope is for a vaccine to arrive uh, as soon as possible. The things that I just mentioned has been widely discussed in our community or on different platforms uh, many times over the past few months. But one thing that has been overlooked is uh, people's mental health. Uh, me working in the university as a student rights officer, I get uh, to talk to different students, mostly international students on a daily basis. And through that, I uh, kind of understood that uh, mental health is something that has not been widely discussed, unfortunately, and there is that stigma as well for people to come out openly and say that I'm not feeling great. So I thought I would do this video to quickly give uh, some tips and also to tell my viewers what I do to keep myself active during this lockdown. Particularly in Melbourne, we have been in lockdown for six months. There was a brief period when things opened up uh, for a few weeks, but then uh, we are back in the second lockdown. <music> COVID is such a tough time for all of us. So some of the things that I have been doing to stay sane is I love going to the gym, but obviously that's not possible right now. So I've started going for slow jogs. Um, if I wake up in the morning, I go early in the morning, else I go in the evenings when the sun goes down. So that's really nice, very quiet, good time for me to relax and think. So I really like slow jogs. I think I'm gonna continue that. And I've also, you know, threw in a little bit of home workouts here and there. So that really, you know, still keeps me fit. How are we as a family coping with lockdown? Uh, yeah, uh, to be honest, for me, it's not a problem. It hasn't been a problem with me. Uh, Cause I'm not a big fan of going outside. I prefer staying at home, playing on my PlayStation or watching movies on Netflix and all that. But she's finding it pretty hard. Yes, I, on the other side, like to go out most of the weekends like you know do something other than go for a hike or for a run or you know walk or watch a movie or go shopping or catch up with friends there's so much to do outside when you're you know staying indoors is kind of hard for me but saying all of this it is better to be safe than sorry hopefully we'll be able to put all of this behind us soon and you know start going out again so we have just moved into the new new place and it has been very easy because we are just finding new projects to work on every day. So me, my sister and my brother-in-law, we would just find new projects. And um, it's actually been interesting to be honest. It's been very, um, the creative side of us has been out and we're just exploring that. I have just explored um, cooking different things and you know I find myself happy around food so I have just recently been um, finding new um, dishes to explore and I just find that you know it is something of very much of my interest and I would just come up with new dishes every day and I would just see you know how they turn out to be and this is something that just brings a lot of happiness. How are we as a family coping with the current lockdown? Um, we just got married in February 12th this year and then we moved to Australia. We have been living together since then. And we take this as a good opportunity to know each other and we've been living together since then, right? So we are just trying to uh, know each other and it's been a good experience so far. COVID, all the gyms were shut down, right? So during that time, what happened, uh, I was not able to go to gym. So what I thought was I'll buy these equipments and work out at home. So that has been going really, really well now. So even after COVID, I can say that I don't need, there is no requirement for me to go to the gym and work out, whereas I can work out at home with the equipment that I have. 
on the other hand um, had no interest in uh, fitness at all uh, but uh, after the wedding being with harsh is just uh, becoming a part of me too now but i any which way started my workouts at home and i'm liking it um, though we also live in a very uh, beautiful locality where we have a lot of walking trails and things like that so we are uh, we do quite a bit of uh, walking and running uh, sometimes and we work out at home so that's one good thing about uh, being locked up in the house i think uh, we've been able to give a lot more uh, heat to us and our health cooking is uh, one of the other major things that we tend to do together most of the days um at least it lets us learn both our likes and dislikes so what i've done is i made sure that for the past 6 months even though i'm working from home i try to have a routine i cannot go to the gym but i made sure that i exercise do some sort of exercise every day and over the weekends i go for a run and i also make sure that you know i eat my meals on a regular basis and i shower in the morning which is very important because working from home means that you can easily skip your shower in the morning so make sure that you have that routine going on survival tips for our viewers i mean i'm pretty sure you all have your own ways of coping with this but what worked for us was um we started concentrating on taking care of ourselves keep moving in your house uh, always stay motivated during it that's very very important so you got to be motivated uh, during these tough times any a small thing will bog you down but we have to uh, we have to train ourselves to motivate Uh, awesome. Yeah, don't get lazy. Just keep doing something or the other. Yeah. Cause I did get lazy for a major part of the lockdown, and then uh, it kind of uh, became adverse in a lot of other things. But I think uh, just uh, keeping yourself active, being motivated to do something. It doesn't necessarily have to be fitness. I mean, fitness can be a part of it. But if you are allowed to get out, just go there and maybe just take a walk or look at the scenery, whichever. Just uh just don't stay put in a place it's a tough time for everyone everyone yeah. is going through the same phase i know we all will cross this phase and we all will come back stronger any survival tips for our viewers it's good to like do something out of the comfort zone i guess like like we haven't done before uh like a new habit or something like read books or pick up an old habit that you left because you know you got really busy with work and stuff You have we have been all working from home so we do have an extra time yeah. in hand to do something that we want to do so watch Netflix read a book do oh, a do your own projects yeah DIY projects yeah, that would be helpful a lot of stuff on YouTube it is hard we have to do this unfortunately there's a lot of um, you know you can probably just talk to your friends on Zoom or WhatsApp right. video calls or catch up with your family catch up with old friends if you find yourself a new skill that you feel brings you happiness definitely explore that and you know latch on to that because this is something which will obviously give you happiness at the same time and it you know it with the way things are around us it will definitely keep us uh motivated and in a more positive and a happy space for sure so yeah definitely catch on a skill that you can explore and just latch on to it another thing that i highly recommend is that covid has taught us that we are going to be more technological dependent. So if you're not part of the technology industry or you're looking to enter that, I say use this COVID time to really upgrade yourself. Jump onto Udemy, LinkedIn, take a few online courses, get yourself certified. I myself have got myself certified for a few lang new coding languages and that really spiced up my LinkedIn profile, got me noticed by recruiters. So if you're looking to stay relevant, I say use this COVID time to take a few online courses. And yeah, those are those are the few things that I've been doing. The one thing that I would say is you can pick up new hobbies during this lockdown because you have time in your hands. You cannot go out, you cannot meet your friends, um you cannot socialize outside, you can save time going to work or uni. So utilize that time and this new YouTube channel that I started it's during this lockdown as well. So uh this is your time to come up with uh new hobbies and also to sharpen your skills and uh 
and also explore what you are good at and uh, also make sure that you look out for each other call your friends make sure that you um, check out on each other and ask them if they are doing okay support each other and that's another way of uh, staying connected and also making sure, sure that your friends and family are doing all right I'm hoping and I'm sure that this law will be over soon. Hope everyone stay safe, stay relevant, stay fit and good luck. Until then, keep yourself motivated and keep working hard. Thank yes, you. stay at home, we're in this together. Thank you so much.